okay all the students are getting my voice please uh, answer in the chat box हेलो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आर गेटिंग माय वॉइस ओके लेट स्टार्ट the today's lectures i just share the slide okay uh, in which uh, we will discuss about the map reduce basically okay uh, last time uh, we have discussed about the hadoop ecosystem hadoop infrastructure and uh, basically the sdfs and the different different version of the hadoop Uh, and their comparison okay so today uh, uh, now i am going to show you some uh, more uh, uh, and most important uh, function of uh, apache hadoop framework that is uh, map reduce okay so what is map reduce so uh, actually uh, in the previous uh, class uh, we have uh, discussed all the components are related with the uh, hadoop uh, ecosystem in which map reduce is also discuss uh, also discuss uh, at introductory level okay so uh, what is the uh, map reduce is what so a question arise in your mind that what is basically the map reduce so map reduce uh, work as a core component in uh, hadoop ecosystem that i have we have discussed okay as it is uh, facilitate the logic of uh, uh processing to make it a uh, 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 simple uh, map produce we can say it is a software framework which enable as writing application the process large data set using uh, distributed and uh, parallel algorithms okay so in hadoop eco environment uh, or hadoop environment the parallel processing features of the map produce play a crucial role in hadoop ecosystem okay so it have in performing big data analysis using multiple machines okay in the same cluster and how does uh, map reduce the actually work that question may be arise because the the main function of the map, map reduce is just uh, perform the parallel computing uh, with the uh, hadoop ecosystem okay so question may be arise how does map map reduce actually work so in the map reduce as the name implies a program we have two function one is map another is reduce okay so by combining these two uh, function that will uh, it will become map reduce basically okay so map function is what basically perform map uh, is uh, we have to uh, use function convert uh, one set of the data into another set okay when uh, individual elements are broken down into key value pair okay and the another function is that reduce function okay so, and what is the uh, reduce function perform uh, this function perform uh, on take the data from the map map function okay as an input okay and reduce uh, 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 call the reduce function and uh, reduce it also basically okay so it takes data from the map, map function as an input and reduce uh, reduce Uh, and call the reduce function and perform aggregates also and summarize also the result and get from the map function basically okay so now to fully understand the uh, capabilities of uh, map reduce we need to differentiate the map reduce in the algorithm uh, implementation uh, of map reduce and uh, before i jump to uh, understanding the agenda 
that what we will, uh, will discuss in that particular lecture we are going to have as a part of the uh, map reduce okay so uh, in that particular uh, lecture or in the session uh, in the agenda will be discussed we will start with the understanding of the map reduce okay and uh, uh, map reduce word count example that is very very important to understand the how the map and reduce function is working that we will uh, we'll discuss okay and then we will discuss map reduce overview then after that the next agenda we have data flow of the map reduce okay and after that uh, we'll discuss yarn map reduce in detail uh, flow then we'll dis discuss the concept of mapper and reducer after that we'll discuss speculative execute uh, execution and then very important thing that uh, that is the feature of the hadoop that is hadoop fault tolerance okay then the next agenda we will discuss is submission and initialization of uh, map reduce job okay and uh, monitoring and progress of map reduce job okay clear so this 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 one is the agenda that we of that particular lecture okay so uh, let's start uh, understanding map reduce okay so the very first agenda of this lecture is that understanding of map reduce okay so understanding the map reduce uh, to fully understand as i have told uh, the capability of hadoop uh, map reduce we need to differentiate between uh, the map reduce the algorithm and the implementation of the map reduce okay so hadoop uh, map reduce is an implementation of algorithm developed and maintained by apache hadoop project and it is helpful to the things about the implementation uh, as uh, map reduce uh, we just i just take an example real life example like uh, engine a motor car engine okay and uh, exactly know how it is work uh, you provide uh, we need a, a fuel as a input for the engine we know that okay clear and uh, for a fuel to the engine and the engine convert the input uh, that is fuel into output in the quickly and effectively uh, manner and you get an answer for uh, your need basically okay means if you are using hadoop to solve business problem so necessary for you to understand how uh, at that particular box uh, map reduce box is working so we uh, we just take a look of hadoop uh, implementation of map reduce okay in more detail and you can see uh, here the map uh, uh, is basically take uh, from here map is what it take a big data set and divide it uh, divide into a smaller data set so hadoop map reduce introduce the several stages include uh, each with a important set of operation uh, uh, helping to get your goal of getting on uh, of getting answer you need from the big data basically process the data the okay big data process to start uh, user request very first uh, when we start uh, to the user request to the map reduce uh, program and continue uh, until uh, the results are written back to the sdfs and sdfs and map reduce are performed uh, hadoop the file system basically sdfs okay so sdfs and map reduce are performed to work on a node cluster hosted and racks of the commodities basically okay to simplify discussion i just uh, diagram show uh, that particular diagram show uh, the only two nodes uh, that we are taking uh, that map and uh, reduce okay so let me start with the first one uh, the map what is basically the map so your data is now in the form of uh, acceptable to map right so this is the data in, in the yellow part that is show, showing the data basically okay so for each input pair a distinct instance of the map is called a process okay uh, the data so you are going to uh, create each instance of the data but what does it uh, do with the process output okay so now keep track of that map has two additional capabilities uh, to address the question uh, because map and reduce need to work together okay uh, that is very important to process your data uh, so let program need to collect output from the independent mappers and pass it to the uh, reducer right side we have a, the reducer okay that 
diagram of the reducer is showing there. So this task is performed by an uh, and all these tasks are mapping and mapper and reducer. That is a uh, task is performed by output collector. So a reporter function also provides the information uh, get from the map task so that uh, 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 you know when uh, basically uh, if a map task is completed or not. Okay, so. All uh, this work is being in the form of multiple nodes in the Hadoop cluster, okay, that we have, uh, that have uh, work in simultaneous manner. And you may have cases for uh, output for a, uh, for a certain mapping process need to uh, uh, accommodate uh, accumulator before the reduces can begin or so some of the intermediate results we need to be processed before uh, reduction okay so in addition some of these output may also be different from the reducer for the quick output okay so we run uh, after all map task is complete okay after all map task is complete intermediate results are uh, gathered in the uh, part uh, portion of the uh, shuffling and sorting the output for the optimal uh, for processing by reduced uh, basically okay so reduce uh, cannot uh, from here you can easily understand that reducer cannot begin until mapping is done if all mapping with the data is done and until the uh, reducer uh, cannot begin okay and it is not finished also but the reducer also not finished until all the instance all the instance basically uh, uh, the Mapping out oh, just a minute, somebody is waiting in the room. <clears throat> okay, so it is not uh, finished uh, until all the incidents are uh, completed. Okay. Yeah. So the output of reduce also a key value. Okay. So I, I'll just discuss all the things uh, in uh, through by taking an example. You just have to uh, see, uh, just understand the concept of the uh, mapper and reducer. Okay. So the last task after uh, this, all the things is performed after mapper and reducer. They're writing this output to the SDFS uh, file system basically, and the coordination of this uh, all these job is uh, uh, done by the job scheduler. Uh, that uh, that also we'll discuss because that is one of the tasks uh, performed by one of the component of the Hadoop ecosystem. Okay, if anybody have idea with who is the responsible for the job, the job scheduler in the last uh, class we have discussed. Okay, uh, if you have an answer, you just type in the chat box. Okay, I just uh, let's, let's start the next slide. My previous. Okay, so this is very simple example through which you can easily understand how map and reduce function is working. Uh, map function uh, independently working and how reduce function independently working and collectively how they will provide the output. Okay, so map reduce word count. That is very important slide. Okay, so from here, before we jump into details, let's uh, uh, we just, uh, uh, walk through an example map reduce application to get a fla flavor of how they work. So word count is a simple application that counts the number of occurrence of each word in a given input data set. Okay. So let me say that this is my data set. Okay. Uh, uh, one side uh, as a user, I as I given input as one side we have. Okay. So these are uh, my uh, data set. Okay. Uh, my, my data set. Uh, as a user, I given input as uh, very first we have uh, I uh, given apple, orange, mango, orange, grapes, and lychee. This one is one of the data sets that contain these fruits: apple, orange, mango, orange, grapes, and lychee. Okay, and uh, is my one client. Uh, this one is uh, input provided by one uh, from the one client. And uh, my another data is uh, apple, lychee, mango. Apple, Apple, lychee. Okay, so this is the input file. These two are the input files from the different, different clients we have, and this one is the one of the uh, my data set as a user. Okay, then uh, <clears throat> so I need to this uh, particular file 
to uh, individual mapper okay the uh, individual mapper will perform uh, uh, to map these uh, in, uh, these files so my mapper will convert uh, into each file pass to the individual mappers in the second step and mappers will uh, convert uh, into apple uh, these uh, data sets into these uh, boxes or these map, map map boxes basically apple orange mango first box contain second contain orange grapes and lychee third contain apple lychee and mango and the fourth one contain uh, uh, and fourth line that contain apple apple and lychee okay so these are the basically the task uh, performed uh, by the each file and after uh, putting each file pass to the individual mappers and these mappers convert these two input file into these four uh, 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 file basically okay clear so let uh, then it is start uh, creating the value on the key okay so map uh, uh, map key value that is splitting basically okay so in this uh, how how many times the apple is come apple is come in the very first uh, first line apple and so apple is is a key apple is here key and one is the value okay so this this is called map key value splitting okay this, this one is called key value splitting so first box is, is split into key value apple that okay and one is the value orange and one is the value mango uh, and one is the value okay and in the second line it is also a map key value splitting orange in the second line what we have uh, orange uh, occurs one time so orange one grapes one lychee one in third line we have apple lychee and mango so apple one lychee one mango one in fourth line we have apple apple and lychee okay then in that particular uh, uh, mapping Key, uh, key value splitting apple one apple one lychee one okay and after that now we going to have uh, uh, sorting so you can see how uh, and uh, or <coughs> sort and shuffle uh, map reduce in this box is performed so sort and shuffle uh, basically uh, the first box contain apple one apple one apple one apple one okay and this box so my uh, so my idea uh, my uh, from my idea uh, is as a part uh, uh, how to count how many apples are there basically total apples are there basically so in this case i have to make sure uh, words uh, are in the same box okay so apples come in the same same box basically okay uh, uh, from here you can easily understand that all the apples comes in the uh, same box that is called that process is called sort and shuffle okay so apple one apple one from here and from the fourth line this apple one occurs uh, this uh, fourth line in second part apple one this occurs okay all the apples occur in the same box the grapes occur in the same box lychees all the lychee occurrence is, uh, occurs in the uh, in the same box and this all the task is performed by using the sort and uh, shuffle and uh, here my mapping is completed this all the tasks okay so from start from here and uh, from it after uh, taking the input from the client and after performing uh, mapping map key value splitting and sort and shuffle this all the task is performed uh, by the mapper okay okay so uh, so here my mapping is completed and uh, my job of mapping is done okay now the job of reduce reducer is started as i said reducer take input uh, from the mapper okay so this all are the input they are working as a uh, these all are the output of the mapper and that will become uh, input for the reducer okay so this is the output from the mapper and that is when here reducer uh, reducer out, uh, provide the key value pairs so here you can see apple the value is apple 4 how many times apples comes four times so it is aggregated so i, I told earlier that the what is the task of the reducer to uh, just uh, uh, perform the aggregation with the input files that is uh, collect from the mapper basically okay so uh, my final output will be combination of all the, of these okay from the reducer what we perform apple with the key value 4 aggregation grabs 1 dg 3 mango 2 orange 2 okay 
so my final output will be combination of all uh, this boxes in one box basically okay so all the box combined in the one box this one is that process is called basically map reduce basically means how uh, input file first collect from the client and then after performing uh, after uh, passing this all the file to each mapper that uh, map each mapper uh, uh, perform the uh, their individual task then they assign key map key value splitting then sorting and shuffling is performed by the mapper after that the re reduce key value pairs uh, aggregate all these in values with the, their key values okay and then the final output will be in the one single file basically okay so this one is called map reduce okay so i think all of you have clear about the what is the function of the map reduce uh, uh, in uh, fundamental these two process map mapper and reducer in the next class we will discuss in details about the map reduce okay in which map reduce overview and some more things will be discussed okay so this class is over so you just have to come in the next class because these all the classes are very important so you just have to attend all the classes also you can get the lectures from uh, youtube uh, uh, college youtube channel also okay thank you